Games automatically choose teams because of balance. Um, and that makes a lot of sense. You can imagine if you had a captain from team one and a captain from team two and they had to pick teams and you had a pick order, for example, like team B picks first, then B again, then alpha picks, then alpha picks, bravo, bravo. You have that sort of BB, AA, BB, AA sort of situation. Then it's not easy, then, sorry, it is easy to find an example where it would result in an unfair match. For example, say there's three really good players in the game and there's one horrible player. If you have that sort of BBAA, BBA uh, pick order and assume the two best players become captains, then team two is gonna end up with two really good players and no bad players. Meanwhile, team one is gonna end up with only one good player and one really bad player. And it's quite easy to see that team two is gonna have an advantage. And I'm not gonna get into reasons as to why you would want a balanced game. I'm just gonna assume that you know it makes sense for both teams to have a sort of 50% win percentage um, but what the system gets wrong is that it thinks that it understands uh, players in the game better than players and as a general case I would say that rat uh, sorry I would say that ranking systems and matchmaking systems do generally understand players pretty well and usually a lot better than most players however in the top end of competition like at the very top tier um, the player pool is much smaller players are going to be playing with the same people often and players are also a lot more invested into the game and are generally able to understand the people they are playing with better sometimes than the system itself and it's easy to find again it's easy to find examples with this uh, the matchmaking system may not know that two people actually exist on the same sort of competitive esports team however any good player would know that obviously these players are on the same team and they're going to play better together than separately um, you also have the uh, cases with, you know, um, sort of where accounts don't line up with the actual player. For example, like account sharing or Smurf accounts. Uh, for the, for example, with Smurf accounts, the matchmaker or ranking system may just see that as a completely new account and doesn't really know where that fits. But any good player would know that, oh, this account just belongs to this other dude who's one of the best players in the game. And then that person can rank that player or that account much better than the actual matchmaking system could. And there's, so there's a whole bunch of other situations. And so there, there are some times where players themselves, especially at their higher tier, can actually make more balanced games than the matchmaker. However, players at the highest tier, they're not playing to make balanced games, they're playing to win. And when you have, again, that BBAA, BBA pick order, you're still going to run into that problem where, you know, three good players, one bad player, team two is going to have an advantage. So... My solution to that would be uh, dynamic pick orders. Basically, you don't have to have a forced pick order and the matchmaker can choose a pick order based on the balance of the game. Instead of a static pick order, you can have a dynamic pick order, which is, let's say we're gonna break up the entire uh, player list into, or we're gonna order it, we're gonna put it into pairs, then we're going to order those pairs around to make a balanced game, and then we're gonna reverse that into a pick order for the captains to select their teams. Now, as long as the captains understand the actual players that they can pick from to make their teams, they understand those players better than the matchmaker itself, then you're not only going to get balanced games, or well, more balanced games, but you're also going to get a number of advantages. The first advantage you are going to see is despite the matchmaker not choosing the teams, it's actually going to be better for the matchmaker and ranking system in the long run. What I mean by this is matchmaking systems and ranking systems, I should say, uh, they move faster when the results are upsets. If you say team one and team two or team A and team B have an equal chance of winning, then when one team does win, it's not that surprising. People's ranks don't move around that much because you expected you know, one of the teams to win, really. However, when you have a sort of um, a really unfair looking match, for example, it looks like team one has a 90% chance of winning while team two only has a 10% chance of winning. And then when team two does win, or if they do win, then the changes in the ranking system are gonna be massive. As this is gonna be considered an upset to the ranking system. And what it does when you let ca captains choose their teams is they might be able to balance the games better, but to the ranking system, it'll look like a complete upset could be occurring. 
And if it does, then that allows the ranking system to better, to faster hone in on the true ranks. Um, it may not understand where a player sits, but if the players are saying that this is a balanced game and the ranking system is saying it's not, then very quickly it's going to be able to converge to the truth, whether that be what the players think or what the game actually says it is, it's going to converge to the true rank faster. Not only that, but it's also better for the players because now they feel like they're not getting screwed over by a matchmaking system because it's now in their hands. They have control over it, so it's really only their fault if they get a bad team. And at the same time, it adds an additional layer of skill for them to sort of, you know, it becomes a sort of game in itself to be able to know everyone in your sort of, uh, everyone in the sort of high tier and be able to pick teams and work out who synergizes with who. Now, I've talked a lot about this being only applicable to the higher end of players, and I really do believe that. I think average players, and especially lower end players, would not benefit from this. The player pool is too large. Players don't have a great understanding of the game. You imagine a lot of average or lower ranked players haven't played as much as the higher ranked players, don't know that many people. And at the same time, larger player pool, it's harder to know everyone. And at the same time, if, they're, if they are a lower ranked player or even an average rank, they may already be struggling enough with the game as it is and now you're giving them this extra layer of complexity where they've now got to pick their teams and you know, risk getting yelled at at the end of the games because they chose a bad team or whatever. So it makes sense that average players and lower ranked players shouldn't have this ability, but definitely at the higher tier level, uh, teams should definitely be picked by captains. And that is beneficial not just for those players and those captains in that high level, but it is also better in the long run for the ranking system.